also uh, uh, wrote a pamphlet, and I, I sent the pamphlet as well to Christopher. She's got it in one way. I really think you should read that. Uh, and, and there are sections you may, you might want to read. Uh, you'll see in it uh, there are diagrams, sort of the traditional flow input or resource inputs into a city. Uh, and how they come out of the end, uh, which is a traditional model, and then sort of a non-traditional model that he works on. I really think you should read that document. Uh, because if you read both those documents, then you'll feel familiar with some of the terminology that we'll be using in that one day uh, 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 session where you will be meeting, I forget what they're calling it, maybe Peter remembers. Mm -hmm. What was that? Meso, 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 We'll be reporting out on Thursday to what we've done with the students there. Uh, but it'll be, a, it will, it'll be a structured program uh, uh, between you and, and students tomorrow. Do we have those in the program? Uh, we don't have it yet. They'll, they'll get it in the email. I think um, because we're discussing it with them tomorrow. Oh, but Jamie sent us. She sent us a rough one, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. But uh, we'll get it to you either late tonight or tomorrow after we revise it. It's a workshop uh, uh, with honor students uh, from uh, the university there that are involved in area development, and it's a, a way of thinking locally but acting locally. Uh, so it's really an exchange workshop. The objectives are to exchange knowledge about the flows that influence the process of integral and sustainable development in the uh, uh, And uh, you're going to make an inventory of those flows, factors, and aspects that might benefit from international knowledge about the uh, and suggest ways that cooperation between universities can support a uh, sustainable development. And the main working questions that they've established are which objectives and or ambitions do the different areas have with respect to integrated sustainable development and climate resilience, which flows are connected to these objectives and or ambitions, including realizing them, which of these flows are typical in specific areas, which of these flows occur in multiple areas, which of these flows objectives and ambitions could benefit from international cooperation and knowledge development. Some of which you'll, you'll know, some of it you won't know, but the, the discussion with your Dutch counterparts I think will be really interesting. Uh, and both students and faculty will be participating in both of those. So, uh, we'll be there with you. Uh, we'll arrive uh, there at uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we'll run uh, for about five hours, uh, a couple of these sessions, introductions, and mapping sessions. So uh, I, I actually just got it a few hours yeah, ago. I haven't gotten that. Okay. And I, I just look for, the Jamie did send a, a excursion program. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. you print that out for everybody? I no. didn't print it out for everybody, but we're sending it to everybody. Okay. Okay. And I go print it out. I've got copies of the excursion program, so I'll. I'll, I'll pass it around, but if you want to turn it down. Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah. Do it back to back. Yeah. Do you guys have a code that I can use? I do. Okay, I don't have a code. It's so. But in order to make this a, a really interesting uh, exercise for you and learning experience, I did send out. The two, both the or the the, uh, the uh, YouTube version of uh, Dusan Dopo's lecture. It begins in Dutch. 
the introduction to him, to him is in Dutch. I guarantee the lecture is not. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have said it. And the book, by the way, is terrific. Uh, and I made about 10 copies of the, these two input diagrams because I had it on the computer. Uh, copying the PDF of the book would be just too expensive. Uh, and you can get it online. And, uh, you can, if you want to, you can download it for use for yourself, or you can just keep it on your computers and read it from there. Did you send out the YouTube link to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chris and got it. Got it oh, okay. After I got this, I figured out. Oh, I, I have. Right, right. Gotcha. All right. And so uh, those two, I just wanted to go over that with you. I really urge you to read. Uh, and uh, the book. You don't have to read it cover to cover, although it's very short. Uh, but uh, you know, the diagrams are very illustrative, uh, and uh, there are areas of it that will be enormous interest to you. And I think of enormous benefit to you. Uh, a couple of people I've shared it with my music in my classes at other universities, so uh, it, it gets worth looking at. So, any questions about that? Uh, you all get the uh, the schedule in a moment. Uh, one of the things we're looking for at the end of it will be a memorandum of understanding that we are going to enter into through RAMP, uh, uh, working with the Columbia University of Real Estate and the folks at RDM. So this doesn't really involve you directly, uh, but what we learn together, we're trying to see whether or not we can establish sort of the, the, the Everybody's not going to K2K uh, program, the knowledge to knowledge exchange uh, that we will be working on between their university and ours in Columbia. And we're looking at how we address planning and sustainability in those areas. That's all I want to go through. Now that Peter's here, <laughs> but Kristen is in here. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, when she brings up the program, we'll go over that. This part of today is really right. walking through the step by step from the moment we land. So what, what, what are we doing? All right. Um, so I, I don't have my, I did actually print out the Excel spreadsheet with everybody in there. How many people here still own e passports? Okay. You talk, clock is ticking. 